Hello and welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jet video. I hope you're all doing really well and you're all recovered from the release of MSFS 2024. It was something. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you how to download MSFS add-on linker for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 um, and basically just show you how to organise your add-ons much better and don't have to have them on your drive with the least storage and have to search through loads of folders just to get there. Okay, so the first step you guys want to do is head down to flightsim.to, link will be in the description below, and click the download button um, to download this bit of software here. It looks complicated through the first look, but it is actually really simple. So once that has downloaded, you're going to get a folder called MSFS add-on linker. Open that one up, and you're going to see two things. You're going to see MSFS add-on linker, that one's for 2020, and then this one is for 2024. Um, you want to run the 2024 installer as administrator like so and then as you can see in here you'll get this bit in a second just click the settings button and this is what you guys will sh straight away so up here you're going to want to create your add-ons folder where you want to store your add-ons so I'll show you where I've stored mine so your add-ons are usually in local disk C if this is if you're on the Microsoft store version pretty much if you're on Steam I'm not sure where they install in Steam usually it's your C drive as well um, however, as you can see, I've only got 55 gigabytes in the C drive compared to my D drive where I have 203 gigabytes. So in my D drive, if you head into this one, you'll see I've got two folders here, um, MSFS 2020 and MSFS 2024. If you go into the 2024 folder, I've created this kind of organized folders of add-ons. We have aircraft, dependencies, liveries, and scenery. So... Today I'm going to use the example of Innsbruck. So once you've created these four folders, so you've created your MSFS 2024 folder and you've created your four subfolders with your aircraft, dependencies, liveries and scenery, come back into the actual MSFS add-on linker and then click add. Where you've just done your new folder, aircraft, dependencies, liveries and scenery and then click OK. And once you click OK, you see that you have something called my add-ons folder and that's where it is. Next, you want to grab your MSFS 2024 community folder, and this one is where it's saved into your actual PC. And essentially what this program is going to do is all of your add-ons that are in the D drive, they're going to basically communicate and link them to your community folder without impacting your storage. So to find your MSFS 2024 community folder, this here is your um, directory. I'll leave it in the description below so you can copy and paste it. Only thing you need to um, change is just the username. But once you've put in your MSFS 2024 community folder and you've also added your add-ons folder, click OK. And as you can see here, what we've just created here. So today I use the example of Innsbruck um, because as you know Innsbruck is MSFS 2024 ready. So once you click MSFS 2024 install, just make sure that you have all of your um, all of your directories for installations pointed to that D drive. So as you can see here, the MSFS 2024 community package folder for me is where I just said I had I created that new folder. So my D drive, MSFS 2024, and scenery, and that's where I put everything in. So just you know, you select that folder, and that's where it's going to go. So then once you press install on Innsbruck it's going to go to that D drive instead. So then once we're back in MSFS add-on linker, as you can see, it says scenery, which is where I just installed it. Open that one up, and as you can see, it says Innsbruck um, any builds. If it's got a red dot next to it, it just means it's not activated, okay? So click that one, and it goes green. And as you can see, on the right-hand side here, on the community folder, it's linked it over. So now it's saying that MSFS will recognize that Innsbruck is in the community folder. Here we go, so once you get to your community folder location, which is mine is in the um, app data, you can then see that in here it has Innibills Airport Innsbruck with a little like share button. If I quickly show you um, by deselecting, oh, if I quickly show you by deselecting Innsbruck, have a look in the folder and it's disappeared. Select Innsbruck, have a look in the folder and it's reappeared. So that's all it's doing, it's literally just communicating between the two folders, like a share file, and then it communicates that way. So the same thing with different aircraft as well. Once you install aircraft, you can tick the aircraft. Same with liveries. When you install liveries, make sure that they direct them to your liveries folder, which you just created. 
and then just make sure you press tick after. And a good thing about this as well is that to reduce your loading times in the sim, which was a big issue in 2020, everything you know you're not going to use, you can uncheck it so it's not loaded into MSFS itself. But when you are going to use it, you can check it and then you know that's what you're going to be using, which usually does I mean, slow down the um, wait time. Well, not slow down, but you know, make it quicker. But yeah, that is how we use MSFS add-on linker. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that video and I will see you all in the next one.